If you could describe Berlin in one word, what would it be? Freedom. <laughs> Berlin is transformed into one of Europe's leading cities, known for its crazy nightlife. I heard that it's very f***ing difficult to get into this club. Edgy fashion and its anti-establishment lifestyle. But it's also a city with a painful past. With so much activism and multiculturalism in Berlin, I was curious. How has the city become what it is today? And is it really as tolerant as it seems? Do you want to talk about your Jewish experience at all? So I headed to Berlin, Germany to find out. Thank you to Brevity for sponsoring this video. So I am heading to Mauer Park for the flea market over there. It's every Sunday. Just look at how cool this is. It's like pink paper inside. What made you decide to make jewelry and, and bags out of records? I thought it was thrown away. And I thought, what can I do with this? I'm Killing's hat is from Brixton. These glasses, I don't know, I found them in a shop and I thought they were kind of cool. fly. They are fly. Both of these are from a paca. I live in Guatemala. Yeah. So in Guatemala we have pacas and they sell like secondhand clothes from the States, like for like one Q, which is like five cents. The socks I think are from like H&M. Uh -huh. And these are Blundstone boots. Hack is actually... Oh, I forgot I'm gonna... I need a nice one for my camera. <laughs> If you could just describe Berlin in one word, what would it be? Bye. Tell me more. It's just so diverse culturally. Uh -huh. I love like the different pockets of culture that you can find. Yeah. And you get flavors of everything. It's tasty. Maybe it's tasty. <laughs> it's tasty. I'm Josephine. This is a long, dear treasure of mine. I bought on a festival. Cool. This is my mom. She was wearing this as a costume. She's a dancer. This belt is a put together of all sorts of things. I love it. I got everything I need. Some essential oils, some other things. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Did you make it? Yeah, this one is wow. Well. Wow, wait, you made that as well? Yep. Wow, you are so creative. A beautiful skirt from Lutzifa. They have just like natural clothing stuff. So those were my mom when I was 17. Nah. <laughs> ever since. And this is a beautiful sticker of the Fungi Academy. <laughs> what are you wearing in your hair? Like actual flowers? In German, it's called Wiesenzalbein. This one is a chopstick from a sushi store. <laughs> Do you find Berlin to be a tolerant city of other races and people and religions? I would say yes. It was in the primary school just around the corner and it felt like a bowl of people just coming together and sharing their, their cultures and their tribes. For me it's always been a big part of Berlin. There's so much treasure in cultures that everyone brings in and to bring them together because we gotta learn from the past. Hi, my name is Esse. I am wearing a Doc Martin sandals. Love it. I'm wearing a secondhand dress but I think it's from Bershka. I handmade this necklace. It says Slim Bodin. Uh, uh, I live in Neukölln. I love Neukölln. I made these. How long have you been living in Berlin? Uh, about two and a half years. If I was to buy something here, what would you recommend for me? Um, ooh. Where did you get this from? In Ghana. And, and we said this is not cultural appropriation, it's cultural appreciation. Appreciation, yes. It's so beautiful. It looks great on you. Glowing. Would you find Berlin to be a tolerant city? I'd say Berlin for me is definitely tolerant. I'm uh -huh. not sure about the rest of Germany, but uh -huh. I feel like people are really accepting. People respect who you are, your pronouns. I think maybe because there's lots of international people. I've traveled a bit outside of Berlin and like, it seems a bit more, maybe a bit more conservative, but mm -hmm. I love like the vibe of Berlin. Uh, my name is Kinev. Actually, this is inspired from uh, Kurdish uh, freedom fighters. Uh, really? The outfit, yeah. Wow. It's actually longer, it's not like this, it's more like <laughs> sexualized, I guess. Uh, like thongs. And then can I can I see a few of your tattoos? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Are there, yeah, is there any like special meaning behind it? Yeah, um, these are Kurdish traditional tattoos. She did that, actually, she yeah. did, did You did yeah, that? Yeah. Whoa, wait, can I see that closer? And it's a and crown, the and the hand too. Wow, you're talented. Thank you. I got a basket that I just got here at the flea market. Love it. Then I have these pants, they're actually from Thailand. I have these shoes that are cork from Portugal. And then for the shirt. <laughs> oh, well, you are, your outfit is very well-traveled. Thank you, oh, another thrifted bag. Love it. <laughs> and you got two nose rings. Yeah. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wearing her shirt. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god, I love that. So usually I wear my her, clothes. her clothes. Seriously. Yeah, because uh, since we got together, I'm like, oh, can I use this, this, these pants? Are pretty cool, and they fit better on me than they do on her. <laughs> and then uh, this shirt is actually the old. It's really old. And I think she bought it for like. 
Why did you buy for? Are you serious? Euros. Yeah. Oh my god, and wow. So, yeah, it, it's uh, it's helpful to have a bisexual girlfriend. <laughs> Up. This is this is your shirt that you <laughs> nice. I love that I am buying this off of you. Where did you where did you get this from? Well, I don't remember. I think I bought it in a store, like in a corner store. It's gonna be mine now. <laughs> My name is Luca. I'm wearing here this hat. The sunglasses are from Fuma. How to say vest. This vest exactly yeah. is a it's from Etty. Oh, it nice! Was a, it was a gift from my girlfriend. Oh, that's so nice! Yeah, she has a very good taste. Yes. Yeah, and, <laughs> and the you, pants are yeah. actually already quite old. I bought them in Switzerland. Birkenstocks I ordered online. Very nice. And uh, your necklace? Oh yeah, my necklace is also a gift from my girlfriend. Oh, nice yes. girlfriend! Would you describe your style as typical of Berlin style? No, actually not. I have. A lot my own head when uh -huh. choosing my own style. I, yeah. I don't like to orient too much. Yeah. And what is in, what could be. Like. You could describe Berlin in uh, one word. What would it be? Girls with fringes. Girls with fringes. <laughs> okay, do you want to know what I'm seeing in front of me? It's like just the cutest little houses. Like they don't have this in the States. It's just, they look like dollhouses. Like, look at this. They're just so beautiful. But everything looks also very, very new. There was a girl that I was staying with called Debbie. Like, I was uh, couch surfing with her and she said that every time you see a new building, it's there because a bomb fell on it, so. <laughs> oh my God! I'm in a hopper field right now. This place used to be a Nazi hangar and now, 70, 80 years later, it is this beautiful, field where people just go to play frisbee and talk and eat picnics and read and watch the sunset. I think it's just really moving for me that something so ugly could turn into something so beautiful. In a way, for me, it feels like everything has redemption. I'm Christina and I'm wearing a buffalo shoes, which are my favorite. I love I wear them, them every day. They're so cute. <laughs> Half of Berlin too. And then uh, I'm wearing just a basic shirt and I have a nice bra. <laughs> from a cute vintage shop. It's very cute. This yeah. is uh, from our park, no? From right. the flea market. This is from the Spain. <laughs> I love it. And what about you? My name is Marco. Hello. Not from Spedi, but from a beautiful event we've just been to. And this is all Zara and Doc Martens, the basic shirt. <laughs> I love it though. Like the way that you just like all put it together. Right. What about your uh, your necklace? It's for trust. For trust? For trust in myself, yes. Oh wow, is this it? It's a gift by a friend of mine. That's so beautiful. Would you consider your style typical of Berlin? Mine's very typical, um, basic, I guess. For yeah. me, I'm not from Berlin, so mm -hmm. I had this style before too. But yeah. here it just fits. Would you consider Berlin to be a tolerant city? Depends where you go to. Like I said, energy mm -hmm. is Berlin and you, you need to find your energy. Yeah. To vibe with the same people because there is always, there everywhere is bad people. Hey, my name's Jana. Hello. <laughs> it's a body actually, it's from H&M. I think it belonged to my grandma. Your skates, oh my god. I got them as a Christmas present from my father actually. I love it. How long have you been skating? Maybe two years. I started as a child actually, but then oh, wow. I switched to inliners and mm -hmm. then like a couple years ago I was like, I want to do roller skaters again. I also just want to have a close-up <laughs> of your gauges. They're so cool. Hello. Hello. My name is Charity. Hello. I'm from Ghana. My beautiful dress yes. is from at Asafowel. We are on the Instagram. Is that your brand? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. I keep meeting people from Ghana that have just like amazing styles. Oh my god. I have to go. Oh my god, you have to go. We're gonna take it to tour and show you some few things that we have in Ghana and yes. it's really interesting. I'll visit. <laughs> so I left Berlin on a little detour to surprise my friend Sohi, who is studying at university here. Sohi he does not know I'm here. I'm going to call her now. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this may backfire really badly. <sighs> Sophie? Hello? Sophie? Hi. So uh, what are you what are you doing today? I'm just literally having like dinner. About to have dinner. Why? Do you want to have dinner with me? Where are you? <laughs> what? I'm in Germany. <sighs> In your university town! What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on? Wait, what are you <laughs> I came to see you! Wait, I'm just questioning if this is actually my course mate and not the Trevor. Like, I'm. No, no, 
no, no, no, this, this is me. <laughs> Actually, no one has actually filmed me like this before. Yeah. It's literally just my nostrils. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a <an> dish. <laughs> Doing the dishes? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll give you guys privacy. I'm sorry. Like entertain so many people. <laughs> 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 if that's not a good shot, I'm gonna be so mad. So this top is from my mum. She actually bought it when she was here in Germany. Oh really? Yes. And then this is from my mum as well. I love it. My mum sent this to me for Christmas <laughs> from Korea to here. <laughs> that was a birthday gift for my friend. Aww. Yes. And this is not an accessory, but yeah, it's it's part of me. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. So he's outfit. <laughs> this dress is from Goodwill. It's probably like circa 2013. <laughs> I love the patterns on it. It's very grandma chic. This is just a shell from an Orthodox Jewish brand called Junis. Now I finally have stories to my ring. This one I got from a French store called Le Pepit Doré. This one is um, Alice Tan. Do you know Alice Tan? This is her brand shop, their tone. I got just now from the flea market, like very hippy dippy. It only comes with one. And then this is from Ana Luisa. I love that one. And then my tights are ripped with a fork. And then I got ducky ducks, which with a fork, <laughs> which is the only appropriate country to actually wear ducky ducks in the summer. <laughs> and then this backpack is actually from Brevity. I've been like using it literally for like a couple months now. Like you've seen me lugging this around. That was the first thing I complimented. I think. Yeah, and it yeah. also like matches my outfit and stuff. It's it's it looks super practical. It's got like a slot for your laptop and everything. I know. Yeah, there's like a slot for my laptop over here. It's so many different packs and it's like very cute and compact and it mm -hmm. comes in like a lot of colors and obviously they're sponsoring this video. <laughs> Brevity backpacks are all water resistant and made out of recycled material and I love all the extra pockets and zippers like the side ones so I don't have to dig through all my stuff to reach the bottom. This backpack is so convenient for both everyday wear and travel that has been my editing go-to backpack since January. Hi church. Stop saying hi church. <laughs> I want you in the shot. I mean, I have to say hi. It's not nice. Like, he's staring at me in the nude. He is staring at you in the nude. It's rather impolite, I should say. I thought Germans were polite. <laughs> they are polite. They say bitter all the time. Okay, so, as he's staring at you in the nude, he's saying bitter. Wow. Wait, we're going through the golden hour over there. We're going through the golden hour over there. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my god. Hey, what's up? I'm Isaac. Teddy Crocs, they were five dollars or five euros. This little sexy lingerie top from online, I forgot where I got it. <laughs> and I got this, um, I'm from California. Wait, where in California are you from? San Francisco. Okay, I'm from LA. Oh! <laughs> so, yes. And then the hat is from New Yorker. I don't like that it says Miami, so Ow. just don't look at it. <laughs> so my name is Tarek. This is Thrifted. Thrifted, literally five euros. The heels are Bershka. Love. And jewelry is all thrifted. If you could describe Berlin in one word, what would it be? Freedom. Period. <laughs> Berlin to be a tolerant city. Before I moved here, mm -hmm. I thought that it was more um, tolerant than I thought. Like, like I thought it was like way more progressive mm -hmm. in some areas, such as like queerness mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, but I realized when I moved here that Berlin is so big, it's yeah. so huge, so there's so many different people. So not everyone feels the same way that we feel. But it was surprising to me that it wasn't as progressive as I thought. Me being from a small town, town of Germany, uh -huh. coming to Berlin, this is like, for me it is very open. I get to be who I am. Yes. And get to experiment, which is amazing. No one gives a <laughs> yeah, that we know. But at the same time, you do, you do experience, let's say, in a way, but it's very much less than mm -hmm. in other cities. I'm Yan, and I'm actually just wearing, just black, I'm Zara actually. And this one I got thrifting. 
Oh, that's actually from a friend of mine. Shoes are from Bershka. You're the second person that said they got their shoes from Bershka. I came to Mitzah because every time I go to like Kohl's and Nintendo Cats, like I see so many cool outfits. But like today, I don't know, maybe because it's 1.30 on a Tuesday, like nothing, nada. And I'm like, come on, like I'm just like unlucky. Like every other day that I was here, brilliant outfits. Now that I'm here, nine. So I am here with my friend, what is your name? Hannah. Hi. I was born and raised in Berlin and I still work in Berlin. And this is a question mine. Let's start off. <laughs> what neighborhood are we in? Tell me a little bit about it. We're in Wedding. Wedding? Yeah, it's called Wedding. Baklava! An Arabic version and over there is a Turkish version. I think this one is sweeter than the Turkish one. But it's very mixed, like you can see around. There's many nationalities. Arabic, Turkish, Bulgarian, Romanian. But it's like very interesting because this is so... Hi, you too. <laughs> uh, yeah, you too. <laughs> Do you think Berlin is a tolerant city? I think Berlin can be a tolerant city, but its tolerance is very limited. What do you mean? If you are tend to have like darker characteristics or a foreign name, you have less chances to get jobs or apartment. Our family name is Arabic. We Germanize our name to be more accepted by the Germans. It still made a difference, like people still understand that it's not a German name, mm -hmm. but I think it, it helped a lot because I still get jobs and apartments faster than my friends who do have like a 100% Arabic name. Do you want to talk about your Jewish experience at all? When I asked you to talk about your Jewish experience, um, you were like, my job doesn't know. And you know, you were a little bit uncomfortable. Because it's still awkward here. Hello, hello, ragazzi, where are you going? Why is it awkward to tell your boss who's not Jewish? That you're Jewish. Nobody will tell his opinion in the face. Nobody will tell you in the face. Very subtle. I got fired because of Shabbat once. <gasps> See? That's how I started to work for and I told my boss I can't work on a Saturday. I, everyone had to work one Saturday in a month. So I have to stand in front of my team and explain them my situation, why I can't work that one Sunday, uh, Saturday. And then she told me like, uh, Hannah, it's no problem. We also have like one other Jewish agent in our company and it's absolutely fine. We're very tolerant. And okay, but it was not a problem for you. Yeah, but it did seem like it was a problem. I didn't understand why she had to make such a big deal of it. Why did I have to step in front of the whole team? Back in the 1930s, Kreuzberg was the hub of Jewish Berlin. All their businesses and homes were destroyed on the night of Kristallnacht, and the Jewish community was wiped out in 1944. After the war, the now empty neighborhood slowly transformed into a hub for immigrants and then artists seeking cheaper rent. Today, Kreuzberg is known for its alternative street art, vibrant nightlife, and a bustling Turkish community. So just tell me your name and what you're wearing top to bottom. Let's start with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> my name is Marcus. Uh, what am I wearing? Nothing on my head. And Demulemeister running brand actually called Satisfy. Also and Demulemeister and the boots are ripped. I'm wearing a Nike cap. I think these are from weekday. Monkey. This is a weekday vintage Levi. This is a slipknot necklace that I bought when I was like 13. Did I see your earrings? So uh, cool. Would you consider your styles typical of Berlin? Yeah, there's no there's no there's no color in here. <laughs> Those people like all in black were so cool. You know, it's funny, like I was expecting to see a lot of black in Berlin, but to be honest, I haven't really seen that stereotype of like edgy, 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 all black, 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 black all the time. You know, don't always listen to stereotypes. There are a lot of different kinds of styles here. Hi, I'm Aya. My glasses are vintage Fendi, t-shirt, acne. These are weekday. Vintage boots. I love the boots. They like totally make your outfit. Vintage D squared bag. If you could describe Berlin in one word, what would it be? Hectic. Tell me more. Diverse, hectic, uh, wild, but also very nurturing. Would you describe like your style as typical of Berlin? No. My name is Paula. Oh, where's your hat from? It's vintage. The blazer I inherited from my sister-in-law, who's oh, not wow. dead, but okay. she uh, <laughs> didn't want it anymore. That's my tank top. It's actually my mom's. Oh, really? <laughs> Your and I'm wearing running shoes. And your bag? You know this chair collective? Yes. If you could describe Berlin in one word, what would it be? Diverse, a little bit de deranged, but with a romantic flair. Would you consider Berlin to be a tolerant city? Yes. 
Brussels is the most tolerant city in Europe. Tell me more. Why? Don't you feel like people are really nice here? I feel like everyone here has a very like wait, wait, wait. attitude. <laughs> I think I would feel comfortable just like asking people for directions in the streets and I mm -hmm. wouldn't feel like judged or normally people just like want to help and they want to talk to you and I haven't had that in like a lot of cities I think. Wow, thank you so much.